Hey everyone, as you can see by this video, a very different one that you'll be watching today. Yes, I'm leaving WTF1. Now, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you, genuinely. The last six years have been the most special, wonderful whirlwind that I would never have even dreamed of. I am and always will be just an F1 fan. That's how. That's all I regard myself as. And for whatever reason, I've had a microphone put in front of me. And without you watching, whether it's one video, one podcast, a million podcasts, I don't think we've done that many, but without you, I'd, I'd never have been able to do this. So I just want to say thank you so much. Um, but for me, you know, six years, it's a long time in my life. It's been amazing, but now it's time for change. And... Yeah, I still can't believe the amazing, crazy moments that I've been able to share with all of you. And I think it's very clear that even, even six years down the line, filming with Leclerc, for example, you can see on my face, I have never taken this job for granted once. The emotion you can see, the fanboying, I mean, I wish I could tone it down sometimes. Honestly, it's embarrassing, but it's, yeah. Uh, for, for once, I'm, I'm pretty speechless. I don't really know what to say, apart from the only thing I want to get across here is that I am so thankful that you have allowed for this channel to grow to the extent that it has the community that we've got. It's, it's incredible. Now, I'm not leaving the world of Formula One at all, um, so don't worry about that. I'm definitely not leaving until Charles Leclerc's won a world title, if ever, to be honest. Um, but it's not just me leaving either. Uh, Tommy, the WTF1 founder, also is, uh, is leaving at the same time I am. Uh, and he had a little clip uh, to send you guys uh, right now. Hey everyone, feels crazy to be doing this video to say goodbye. I started WTF1 12 years ago at university and it was just a way to communicate and interact with other Formula One fans and find other Formula One fans. I could never have imagined what a life-changing thing it would be. Not just how much it's grown and all, all the followers we've gained and this amazing community, but just the fact that it's my full-time job is just the most insane thing and will always be absolutely mad. I'm so massively grateful to everyone that's supported me and the WTF1 brand over the years. Whether you started it when it was just a meme page or you've come on recently and listened to our podcasts and YouTube, I've enjoyed it so much and I really, really, really appreciate the support. So it also means the most popular WTF1 member will also be leaving. So Frank, yawn if it's goodbye from me and you from WTF1. There we go. Lovely stuff. Goodbye. <laughs> so yeah, it's an end of an era for Tommy as well. And oh gosh, it's, it's so weird, isn't it? So weird. I've been on this channel for six years. WTF1 is not going anywhere, by the way, if you're wondering. There's a new team coming in and they've all recorded their own little video to introduce themselves. Hello, my name is Kieran and it is an absolute honour to be joining WTF1, a channel that I have loved for a very long time. Who better to attempt to fill the shoes of Tommy and Matt than someone who has been told twice, that's more than once, that he looks like the chubby love child of the both of them. And on recording these videos, the previous takes I've done, I've realized how big my head is. So that was fun. Um, but a few things about me, so you can get to know me. I think that's what this is about. I like pizza, very much so. Um, Formula One, that's good. And I'm a big Lance Stroll fan. Yep. Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and I am so excited to be joining the WTF1 team. Growing up, I always saw F1 on the TV and just didn't even look at it because it seemed so boring. But as soon as I actually gave it a chance and watched my first race, I fell in love with the sport and never looked back. A little bit about me is my favorite track is Baku, just because of the top tier races it always produces. It never disappoints. And if I had to pick one car in F1 to support, it would have to be the Aston Martin safety car. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I think we're on the same page here, you know? But it's an honor to be here and I'm so excited to see you guys around. Oh, so that's rattle on actually. Trey Harrison here. You may know me from Motorsport 101 and being that really annoying Sebastian Vettel fan on Twitter. As you can see, I'm handed in the retirement well. But I'm also very proud to announce that I am now a member of the WTF1 family. I'm going to be a content creator specializing in podcasts. It is 
an incredible privilege to be able to take the reins from Maddie and Tommy, and I can't wait to get to know this incredible fan base just a little bit better. Looking forward to seeing you all soon. Hi, I'm Charlie and I'm beyond excited to be joining the WTF1 team as a content creator. I'm not gonna lie, F1 and motorsport in general are literally my only personality traits, but in the interest of getting to know each other, here's some facts about me. I'm a McLaren fan, I'm definitely more of a team supporter rather than a driver supporter, which always ends up confusing people. Giraffes are my favourite animals because they are tall and I am most definitely not. And when I was younger, I used to think that F1 cars raced through people's gardens in Monaco and was always so envious of them having a racetrack in their back garden. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely day and I look forward to getting to know all of you very soon. So that is it. This is it. This is the last video I'm going to be involved in on the WTF1 channel. It's been an incredible, incredible journey. Uh, please make the new team feel welcome and uh, I'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye. See ya.